Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Don of Adon Journal. Last week, I talked about how to pick rewards credit cards. Today, I'll talk about how to pick travel rewards credit cards. Before I start, I would like to clarify that this is not an article about any particular travel credit cards to pick. What I'm going to discuss today is what features and options you need to be aware of before committing to any travel rewards credit cards. It might look simple on the surface, but there are many things you need to know and credit card companies will not provide you this information in black and white unless you know what to look for and how to look for. When you want travel credit cards solely for the hefty initial sign up bonuses for free flights, free hotel nights and so on, you don't need to worry about what features and options the cards are missing because it's likely you'll cancel these cards a year before the annual fee kicks in. Don't forget to meet all the requirements for free flights or nights, usually certain amounts have to be spent within three months. If you are holding on to travel credit cards for the benefits they are providing year after year and not using them for uh, daily transactions, you don't need to worry about any missing features and benefits because you use these cards only for that particular benefit. For example, I don't mind keeping the Marriott Rewards Visa credit card and paying $120 annually because this card provides me a free hotel nights every year which I value more than $120 annual fee. Another example, WestJet World Elite MasterCard has $99 annual fee but I don't charge anything on this card and I keep this card just for the complimentary companion flight which I receive every year for only $100 when I purchase another fare at regular price for North America which I value a lot more than the $99 annual fee. Regardless of what travel credit cards you use, make sure you're getting maximum returns on each dollar and never settle for any credit cards that give you only one point or one percent return per dollar. For example, some credit cards will give you four points or four percent return on grocery, gas and pharmacy purchases but will only give you one percent on all other purchases including travel. Example, Scotiabank gold American Express card. So what you can do is use one credit card for grocery shopping and other credit card that gives you more than one point on everything else. For example, BMO World Elite MasterCard gives you two points on everything. If you do not want more than one credit card for daily transactions, pick the one that provides two points for everything. So avoid any credit cards that offer you only one point per dollar for daily uses. Also, make sure that the cards you are picking for daily day-to-day -day needs comes with a hefty sign-up bonus as well. You have to be extra careful when you are using credit cards to buy plane tickets or hotels as your trip should have full insurance coverage. Here is my list of uh, coverage that I must have for my trip and I'll use only a credit card that provides all this. Emergency medical insurance, trip cancellation insurance, trip interruption insurance, travel accident insurance, flight delay insurance, lost luggage insurance, hotel motel burglary insurance, auto rental theft, and coalition loss damage insurance. 
I don't mind if I don't have lost luggage and hotel motel burglar insurance, but everything else is a must for my trip. Another thing you need to be aware of is your car's insurance provider. You stick to a credit card where the insurance provider is a reputable one and there are not many complaints when it comes to obtaining insurance benefits. Lots of credit cards offer full set of insurances but the providers make it very difficult to claim and collect benefits when the time comes to do so. Do not settle for a travel credit card that does not provide you concierge service. Visa Infinite cards come with Visa's own concierge service. Other credit cards provide concierge service through a third party or card companies own concierge service department. Concierge service is a free service that is like having your own personal assistant at your disposal. If you're looking for all the benefits and features travel credit cards offer, the annual fees are indispensable. A no-fee credit card is not going to offer you anything we talked about so far. So the way you approach fees is that you need to make sure your benefits surpass the total of the fees you are paying. My total spending on fees from all credit cards come to about seven eight hundred dollars annually. However, my benefits exceed well beyond seven eight hundred dollars. So for that reason. The $800 is not actually a spending, it's an investment that provides me more returns. Before making your selections on your travel credit cards, spend time researching all the features and benefits. It's likely you'll not find everything you need in one credit card but the good thing is you can have as many credit cards as you like and there's nothing wrong with paying fees on premium credit cards as long as you can justify the fees for the features services and benefits you're receiving from your cards a very important note i'd like to mention before i finish you'll not be able to get benefits from any credit cards if your balances are not paid in full every month. That's all for today. Thank you.